Rita Hill gets a whole new hearing in a new HBO film that revives the controversial 1991 Senate confirmation of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Listen. During the fall of 1982, Judge Thomas began to use work situations to discuss sex. I could not keep silent. Is it true? Is the story true? I deny every allegation against me today that suggested that I in any way ever harassed Anita Hill. This is a circus, national disgrace. And from my standpoint, it's a high tech lynching. Mm. But a lot of critics say it pushes a very specific political agenda. Mark Paletta is a former White House assistant counsel under George H.W. Bush and says the new drama distorts history and clearly has an agenda. Good morning. Good morning. So you've seen the transcripts of all this, and that's what you believe. What agenda do you think HBO is pushing? Yeah, this is this is a movie that tries to rewrite history. You know, in 1991, when the American people watched those hearings, they believed Clarence Thomas two to one. Some polls three to one. Right? Anita Hill's story didn't add up. She followed. Thomas to another job after he allegedly harassed her, right? Her, wit- her witnesses were incredibly weak, right? But sometimes don't victims do that? A, a Yale-educated lawyer going from a, a, a job at the Department of Education with a career status to another job? No, I, I think that's very rare. And in fact, one of the things that sh- showed her to be incredible were her three reasons why she explained why she went over to, to another job. She said she was going to lose her job. It was found out during the hearing she was a career employee. Then she said she didn't know who Thomas's successor was. Her su- uh, Thomas's successor was sitting right down the hall from her for six weeks, spoke to her, offered her a job, wanted her to stay. Then she said that the Department of Education was going to be abolished. Now, Ed, you know, that's incredible, right? Ludicrous. And in fact, the Department of Education is bigger and, and better than ever. I don't well, know about better, but bigger uh, to this Kerry, day. Kerry Washington has already spoken out, and yeah. she said there's no political agenda here. Let's listen to her and we'll react. Sure. It's not about propaganda. It's not about taking sides. It's about human beings trying to really struggle with issues of identity and morality and truth. Buying that? No, not at all. You know, what they do with this movie in terms of the selective editing is make her more believable. Mm. So they can say it's not propaganda. It is propaganda. This is HBO, by the way, right? That has a long time left wing record. Okay. And when they leave things out that the American people saw at the time, that showed her to be not credible. And Thomas, right, Thomas had 12 women testify, former co-workers testify, I think five or six of them who worked with Anita Hill who said this was absolutely impossible to have happened. Why do you think HBO wanted to put this out? You know, it's interesting. I think I think they want. I, I think they they um, the left has always hated Clarence Thomas for being a black conservative. Okay, to put it put it uh, can- candidly. I also think that they thought they dropped this movie in the middle of an election year to help Hillary Clinton, wow, the first cool. woman sort of running for the for the White House, and kind of reboot mm-hmm. this bogus war on women you know narrative that the left and HBO and Democrats dredge up every election. Well, it's year. not just an election year. You also have a Supreme Court nomination on the table with Merrick Garland. Yeah. President Obama was on with Chris Wallace uh, right. from Fox last right. weekend making his case. Uh, you've been through this process before as a White House counsel. Uh, what do you expect moving forward here with well, Merrick Garland? You know, I'd say this. The, the Democrats have been 10 times worse to Republicans over the years. Absolutely vicious. If you look at the, the, the Democratic nominees, We've been, Republicans have been gentlemen, okay? When you think of Robert Bork, when you think of uh, Clarence Thomas, when you think of um, Sam Alito, David Souter, they tried to make them into monsters. So, you know, and Clarence Thomas was the lowest of the low, okay? Uh, And so uh, he's not going to get a vote. I hope he doesn't get a vote. I hope the Republicans stand strong and let the people decide in November. Uh, but there isn't going to be the character assassination that they did to Clarence Thomas oh, and to Robert Bork. Pretty intense times right now. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for your insight, Mark Bolletta. Okay, thanks.